Welcome students. Uh, my uh, last video I already explained you about the gravitations. I already explained the difference between gravitations and gravity. Okay. Now uh, <coughs> again I am writing the force F equals to G capital M small m by R square. This is the relations of gravity. Where M is the mass of uh, mass of R and R is the radius of R. Okay. So if I suppose this is a R and any object is here on the surface of R, then any object on the surface of R, suppose A, mass M, then this object will be attracted by R by the force F and <clears throat> now the question is if, if you will ask a man that uh, if uh, earth is attracting the object uh, by a force air does the uh, object also the object A also attracting earth by the same force the answer is yes by the force air when earth is attracting the object A uh, by a force air suppose air towards its center, the object also, this object A also attracting the earth towards it by the same force F. Now the second question of your that if the earth is attracting by the force F the object A and the A also the by equivalent of equivalent opposite force by A F is attracting earth towards A, then why the object falling on earth? Why the earth is not going to A, uh, object A? Why it is happening? Why the object is, suppose uh, A is here, then it will fall on the earth. Why, why this is happening? The answer I am telling you here. Now see as the from the Newton's second law. We, what do we know? That M into A means M is if we apply force on an object, then it will produce accelerations. Then the force we can express by the product of mass and accelerations. The accelerations produced due to the applied force F. Clear? Okay. Now see here. That means what? The force F depends on mass M. Now for A, object A, okay, object A, M is very, 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 very less than M. Clear? Then on comparisons of the mass of Earth, that the mass of the object is very much less. That's why if it is too much less, suppose this is F up, okay, and this is F object O, then F object equals to just opposite to the F E, means F up equal and opposite. Now since both are same, now if M is very much less, then to equalize this force, a is too much high, the acceleration is too much. On the other hand, for F, this is, uh, F, uh, this is F object and this is F R. Now M, A, here M is very very large, that means A will be very very less a r and a object a r very 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 less than a object means the accelerations of the earth due to the attractions of the object a is negligible that's why but the accelerations of object a due to the attractions of the 
art is too much. That means AO because why? Because M is very much less. To, since the product is equal to the force, if one decreases, then another definitely will increase. Here M is too much, so definitely A will to compensate this one, A has to be very much less. So that's why the accelerations produced due to the attractions of A on Earth is very, very, very less. That's why Earth is not going to the object A. On the other hand, since the accelerations due to the attractions of Earth, uh, of the object, so accelerations of the object A is too much. That's why it will fall on the earth, but earth cannot go to the object A. Clear? Now, significance of the gravitations. Now, significance of the gravitational force. So, due to the gravitational force in the universe, you know the solar system, the sun, that all the planets, all the planets here, all the planets, these are just due to the attractions, gravitational attractions that all the planets just in the planets, all the stars, they are just moving in the particular orbit. So it is nothing but only the gravitational force due to which our universe just has a that they, they are moving in systematically way otherwise there will be no universe since the gravitational force is existing in between the stars between the planets between the satellites so that's why all the uh, so the, the planets and stars, they are all the celestial bodies, they are moving in a particular orbit. Okay, this is one significance. Significance number two, the earth, the moon is, suppose this is, this is earth and this is moon. So moon is surrounding earth only due to the gravitational force between the moon and the earth. That's why the moon is uh, revolving or rounding the earth due to the gravitational force. Now, <coughs> third significance is the, the uh, due to the gravitational force, we all are, so this is earth, and we are staying on the earth surface, not inside. So, why we are not falling? Why we are not falling on the, from the earth? It is due to that the earth is attracting all the objects that strongly towards the center. That's why we are not falling from the earth. We are strong, firmly attached to the uh, earth. This one I can uh, explain uh, with the example. Suppose this is an iron at a ball of magnetic ball magnetic ball okay now if the dust if this ball magnetic ball if it uh, just roll on the dust of iron iron dust then what will happen all the iron dust just stick on the surface of the ball iron uh, magnetic ball so there is no chance to the, the all the dust, iron fillings or iron dust, whatever you say, that to fall down. The same thing that earth is like nothing but a huge magnet. And why? Because it's attracting all the objects on the surface of it very strongly. That's why we are not falling from the earth. And this is another significance. And not only that. The above the earth, there is an atmosphere. The atmosphere means the layers of air. Okay, layers of air. Since the earth is attracting the atmosphere strongly towards it, that's why the layer of the air 
or the atmosphere is not escaping the earth surface. They are just above the earth surface. Clear? Now, the rainfall, snowfall, everything. Since we know thus rainfall, suppose this is cloud, this is cloud. So from here the rain, why it is falling on the earth? Why they are not fly away? Because of the, since the earth is attracting all the things, the rains, the snows, everything. So towards, uh, towards it, rain, towards the center, that's why surface, that's why the rain falls on the earth surface, snow falls on the earth surface. This is another significance. Now, the another, the high tide and low tide. See here the oceans are there. So due to attractions of the moon, the moon attractions, the water, water of the uh, oceans just move up and from here also that time here the water become less and here become more. This is called high tide, high tide and here called low tide. Okay, why? Due to the attractions of the uh, moon, uh, gravitational attractions, this uh, water of the oceans just go up and this is called high tide. In the, at the same time, here, in the other end, this one having the low tide because the uh, water levels decrease. So, each to high tide and to low tide on the, uh, because of the, uh, in each uh, 15 days, that this high tide and low tide due to the attractions of the uh, moon is the effect, significance effect of the gravitational force. Okay. Between the earth and the moon. Clear? This is another application. Now, the next video, I will explain you the Kepler's law. Kepler's law. So, the famous scientist Kepler's, he has given uh, three laws that due to the based on the gravitations, the three laws he has given that laws of orbit, laws of uh, areas and laws of uh, period. So, now that I have shot the next video, I will explain you about the Kepler's law. Thank you.